anybody that tells you that being a YouTuber is easy has to be the biggest joke of the century because being a YouTuber is very, very hard. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys some mistakes that upcoming YouTubers like me make on YouTube. If this seems like what you've been interested in, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I post a video and please watch my previously posted videos. YouTuber, please try to be consistent on YouTube. I know it's hard, like it's not easy trying to create time to shoot videos after shooting your edits. You think of thumbnails, you think of like it's a whole lot putting out a video out there, but then you have to be consistent so that the algorithm will favor you and YouTube also have been pushing your videos. But if you are inconsistent, guy. Your channel is not going to grow, your channel is just going to be stagnant, you're not going to have lots of subscribers. So please, if you're new on YouTube, try to be consistent. Me personally, I've been struggling with being consistent on YouTube because being a mom, a wife, a business woman, learning a skill and doing YouTube has not been really easy for me. But I've decided that I'm going to be consistent on YouTube. I've decided I'm going to be posting at least one or two videos every week. And this is me at past 11 shooting this video because I've made a decision that I want to see my channel grow. Like if you're not consistent on YouTube, there's no way your channel is going to grow. So please guys, if you are new on YouTube, avoid the mistake of being inconsistent. Try to be consistent. Try to put in the hard work because YouTube is a hard work. If you don't put in the hard work, if you're not consistent, you're not going to see results. So guys try to be consistent on youtube number two is trying to be someone you are not guys youtube is a big platform we have a lot of personalities we have people from different countries tribe culture beliefs like there are a whole lot of people on youtube so trying to be who we are not is like <laughs> it's just somehow I cannot even explain it so if you are new on youtube if you're a youtuber if you're a new youtuber try to be yourself i know it's not easy sometimes because you are feeling like people are not going to like who you are people are not going to feel you people are not going to be into you people are not going to be stuck to your channel but the truth is you never know until you try so please try to be yourself the people that loves you the people that connect with you the people that feel you for who you are we talk to your channel, they will love you for who you are, and the people that don't, we also pass. Next mistake that new YouTubers make on YouTube is not starting their channels at all. I've always wanted to start my YouTube channel way back 2018, 2018 or 2017, but then I don't know, I think it's fear of the unknown. I've been like, what if people don't subscribe to my channel? What if they don't watch my videos? What if after spending hours of editing and trying to make everything perfect, I end up not having the views that I want? What if nobody even watch my video at all? Like, I had a lot of what if, what if. Like, I was so scared and I just kept procrastinating and procrastinating and procrastinating. So if you are seeing this video, and you've been wanting to start your YouTube channel, this is a sign for you to start. And you know YouTube is one of those things that you've always wanted to do. Like then I will hold my phone and be like, welcome to my YouTube channel. Like everybody in my house got tired of me of saying, welcome to my YouTube channel. Even when I got married, I told my husband that I wanted to start a YouTube channel. And he was like, I've been hearing this since 1952 and you've not started. But then I decided to start. I watched a video like this where a girl was encouraging us and I felt like, that was the motivation I needed, so I started my YouTube channel. So if you're like me, that was that I've been so scared, I was so scared of starting a YouTube channel, and you're watching this video right now, this is your motivation for you to start that YouTube channel. Okay, the next mistake that new YouTubers make on YouTube is doing long introduction. 
then before i started my youtube channel when i go over to like other youtubers page to watch their videos and i see them doing those long tutorials and i'm like oh my god can we skip so why it came to your video can we skip to the good parts there is no need for those long introductions just do a very brief introduction nobody knows you yet as a new youtuber so they just want to hear what you have to say in your video they want to see what they can benefit from your video so please if you're a new youtuber on youtube avoid long introductions do your very brief introduction and go straight to the point why that video was created in the first place okay the next mistake is choosing equipment over content you know a lot of people want to shoot content like they want to start a youtube channel but then they're thinking i don't have ring lights i don't have a good phone i don't have a good camera i don't have a nice background i don't have nice backdrops and you're not even thinking of the content that you want to put out there you are just thinking of how to make your video look nice how to make it appear very beautiful but then the video you want to put out there have you actually sat down to like make research have you actually sat down to like okay if somebody should watch this my video what are they going to get from it what value am i adding to that person's life they don't think about that most times you are always carried away by oh god i want this video to come out very nice i want the video to be cute i want my voice to be heard i want my mic to be loud like me i was trying to shoot the video this night to my mic and it was just going gaga i wasted like 30 minutes trying to put out that mic or make it work properly but then it wasn't working so i just had to do what i had to do with my voice because i'm really really tired but then before you think of buying backdrop before you think of making your video come at night because before you think of video quality think of your voice quality think of a lot of things to make your video come out beautiful make sure that your content is way more higher than that because i've watched some videos of some youtubers where they don't even have mic their backgrounds are not so nice but then i'm always stuck to their channel because i know i'm going to get something after listening to them so it's actually about your content over your equipment i'm not saying equipment is not nice like if you have the money why not go for it but make sure that after shooting your video with those equipment make sure that your content the value you are adding the value you are adding is actually as nice and beautiful as your equipment if that makes sense <laughs> the next mistake that new youtubers make is having high expectations guys this is youtube this is real life this is reality youtube is hard i remember when i posted my when i was about posting my first video and i don't know i just felt like okay because I'm a beginner, I'm going to have like maybe 200 k, um, 200 views, sorry, 200 views and all that. I actually dedicated my time. I did a video, and guys, my expectations just dropped. And then I knew that what those YouTubers were saying, they were true. YouTube is not easy, so the best way to start is just don't expect so much, you know sometimes you post a video after posting your video don't expect that when you come online you're going to see like 1k views it's even better you, you are like okay 20 20 views in one day <laughs> 20 views in one day and eh? because by the time you keep like having high expectations and you keep getting low results it's like it's weakening your spirit you're like mm what's the need now after wasting my time after doing all that the views will still be low i won't have a lot of subscribers so our advice to youtubers don't hire expectation have no expectations at first if god does it for you that your video actually booms at first nines but if it doesn't also nines keep pushing don't stop okay the next mistake that new youtubers make is taking people's opinion of them seriously see guys this is youtube we have the good the bad the ugly 
the evil ones on YouTube. So there are lots of times where we we'll do so much on YouTube, like you put a content out there thinking that okay, this content is going to add value to this person's life and you are seeing like 50 people saying, ah, this thing is nice and there's just this person that keeps wanting to get on your nerves. There's just this person that sees something that is not right. Everybody's not going to like you on YouTube. Like, it's even, it's a normal thing. There are some people that you see and you just gravitate towards them and there's some people that you see and you're like, Mm -mm. so that has happened this on youtube there are some channels that i've come across on youtube and i'm like whoa i'm stuck there are some that i'm just like mm. so don't take the opinion of others too seriously because if you're always taking opinion of other people seriously on youtube huh, you're going to get discouraged people are going to love you some people are not going to love you some people are going to gravitate towards your channel some people are not going to gravitate towards your channel that is life move on take the good advices take the nice advices take the constructive criticisms and move on because there are some criticisms that are actually constructive but there are some people that are just there to get you angry and pissed off so take the ones that are good for you and move on the next mistake that new youtubers make on youtube is giving up on their channel i know it's a lot of hard work it's a lot of consistency it's a lot of patience it's a lot of tolerance like i don't know them together that's that's the work we have to put in on this our youtube channel but then don't give up your channel. Sometimes I come across some very nice and wonderful channels that are doing so well, but I don't know the YouTubers who just maybe they've given up on their channel. They've not posted in like three years, two years, and I'm like, what really went wrong? But then you've been in a YouTuber, you know how hard it is keeping up. So please don't give up your channel. No matter how hard it becomes keep pushing keep fighting i know how hard it is putting up a video putting in the work and then not getting the expected results i know how discouraging it can be when you don't have lots of subscribers i know how hard it is not achieving those goals you set for yourself concerning your youtube channel but then giving up is not an option we have to keep pushing because the more we push the more better it is for our channel but when you give up your channel will be gone just keep telling yourself that one day i'm going to make it big on youtube the mistake that new youtubers make is thinking that you can do youtube by yourself guys it takes the grace of god because youtube is not easy and i've learned that there's something called the favor of god God is with you. You put in your hard work, and the favor of God will help you and push your channel. Like recently, I, I saw a girl. I subscribed to her channel recently. She's not enough, so I think she's just like three or I mean, four months on YouTube. But she has she, she has been monetized. It didn't take her for three months before she got monetized. And when I listened to her story, she was like, it's just God. Within, was it, was it a day? She had 1,000 subscribers a day. So that's to tell you that in everything you do, make sure you are putting God first. Make sure you are putting God first. This girl's will come up. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I post a video. And please watch my previously posted videos.